Hello everyone, I came back. Sorry that I was uh, absent in the internet and the YouTube, but I was really, really busy. Okay, today I want to bring some sim uh, nice uh, because the spring is around the corner, so I want to be using these kind of flowers. Uh, daisies, astromelias, uh, pink wax flowers. I have some uh, white, uh, sorry, white uh, spread roses. I have some good lisianthus, uh, uh, and then I have this blush pink um, carnation. For greenery, I want to use a variegate pyrospotum, and I brought this in case that I don't like how it's gonna look before arrangement with this filler. So we can be using uh, the baby breast. This is um, Mirabella. Because can you see the flowers are really, really big. It's not million star. It's Mirabella, and the other one that I told you before. This is wax, pink wax. I really like this. So we will be using different shades of pink and also white and green color. The base that we are gonna be working today is the cage. Okie dokie, let me start working first and the safe. So this uh, arrangement is really heavy. You have to think that when you do the delivery, they don't have to fall. So I will put all, I will use all the resources that I have to avoid any accident. Oh, sorry, I don't have to remove it yet because I have to put here the uh, tape. So I have my first tape is the double face tape and then I'm gonna use the waterproof green tape to hold the oasis in place. Now I'm going to remove this put in the inside of the cage if you think that you're gonna make the flowers outside the cage and then I'm gonna put it inside wrong totally wrong uh, that is not gonna work so you have to do it inside and leave it in, leave it inside so and the last tape that I want to use I don't know if it's necessary but uh, precautions never is enough so remember that if you're gonna do this for a party, they have to arrive in good shape. You cannot start fixing or doing this um, in the party. And sometimes the venues give you only two hours for uh, setting. So try to do everything that you can, the most that you can in your place. And when you do the delivery, you have uh, more time to do the setting. Okay, let me see. This is moving. No, this is no more. I'm gonna start with the greenery. Uh, uh, we could. The pyrosporum has this um, this uh, way. So it's in a stem that it is split in different and many stems in, in the top. So I'm gonna cut it here. Oopsie. And then I'm gonna keep this as a new stem. And also this. Let me grab the other one. So, you're gonna start using this. You see how I'm putting the, the leaf? I'm not putting the leaf in this way, I'm putting the leaf in that way because I have to cover, this is too long, I have to cover the uh, dish. And also, we will be using a few of them inside as well. Now, I will be using the carnations.
remember what I always said, start cutting the lower flowers first so you're gonna keep the long stems with the flowers on the top. working with the astromedes. Uh, there is something that I want to show you. Um, usually the astromedes come with different length and the flowers. Length, sorry. So we can use like this but you cannot cut by one by one because the stem is really really short. Can you see it? really short stems. Instead, in this case, I cannot use all together. I cannot cut it here and put in the arrangement because this is really, really long. So I have to cut by one one. One by, oh, sorry, one by one. So let me try with this. I do prefer when I have the chance to use one by one because it's, it's more delicate work. But if I don't have that, this chance, now what I have to use it in the way that they come. some flowers because I don't want to put a cluster there and it's something bigger as well over here it's going to be too much okay let's see you see it's too short I'm not gonna be able to use that let me see no. oh okay no ah oh, probably over here let me show you and this part, the angle of the oasis is close to the cage, so I can use it there. And now I'm gonna use a few of them in white color. I'm gonna start using the, I thought that I could use this, but uh, I don't think. Um, I want to put now some touches of Delicientus, but
app. I like this one. Yes. If no, everything is too light, too soft. This is almost done, but what I have to do now is to cover the oasis with little leaf or some kind of leaf because I think it has too many flowers. I'll be back. I'm going to use uh, Italian Ruscus. I have to cut it. This uh, leaf is really long, so I have to cut it to fit it in the, in the cage, so I'm going to leave two uh, leave in each side of the stand approximately and I'm gonna cut it here so in that way you're gonna leave a stem long enough to do the same in the next uh, with the ne next group of leaves if you have in this case so leave just three leaves together and try to see what's going on what's happening I think it's too long, but mm, are you moving? Flowers, if you believe they are too long or they are not in the right position or not what you want, you can start moving everything. Okay, I have something here that is the problem. Perfect. Okay, the cage is ready. I'm gonna take some pictures and show you. Uh, later okay now I'm gonna do in the opposite way I'm gonna start building the uh, flowers first and then I'm gonna create a kind of uh, cage from outside I'm gonna show you next The second idea, you can use this or this bait. It doesn't matter. Dish, sorry. Uh, I would decide to go with the clear one, but remember, you have to remove uh, this sticker first. Well, I'm gonna use this. 
let me grab my oasis well here i am um the difference between this and the other one the oasis talking about is the uh high this is uh, I need this be higher than the other one, so for that reason, I will be using more flowers or bigger flowers. The colors of the uh, the flowers of this design is gonna be the same, but the flower is gonna be a little bit different. Um, and I will tell you later why. So let me proceed with the uh, first step, that is put the, the oasis on, uh, put the oasis secured and the dish and uh, we'll start moving forward from there. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put exactly in the middle. I'm gonna tell you why later. I have to put something so I will cross a little bit I will cross the um, tape a little bit on a side of the center the other materials that I'm gonna be using are these river kinds oh no river kings right um this bamboo these are called medolino sticks mm, uh, these are uh, bamboo stick i i like it a lot i used to to work with this um many many times before uh well let me move forward the flowers that i want to use are hydrangeas blush pink hydrangeas i spray color on it so it used to be uh, these were originally white then I have Esperanza Roses and I still have Blush Pink Carnations. I have Daisies, White Daisies, Baby Breath, and Lemon Leaf. To start working with this, I'm gonna bring my magic table <laughs> I need this I need to be working in this level because I want to be sure that I'm gonna cover all the um, base so um, I don't know if I have to start with this no I'm gonna start working with the flowers this is really really easy part Okay, I think that this is enough. I like it the way that it look. I will claim a little bit everything around here. Well, under here is just a traditional design, but I will, what I want to show you, what I'm gonna do now. I will be using the two longer canes river cane and I'm gonna stuck in the middle we, you can use one or two it's, it's up to you uh, let me see it doesn't have to be exactly the same uh, length it doesn't have to be exactly the same why it doesn't it's you, you can use 
as many as, as you need so that's no um you don't have to be worried about that i'm gonna go back to my magic table because i need to show you what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna start working with the uh medolina be sure that all the length of the bamboos are the same the same and you want to start to one by one or two by two it's up to you i used to do it one by one put it in this level all around equidistant so to be sure that it's almost equidistant you i'm gonna use uh uh i'm gonna put it in the opposite side It doesn't have to be exactly, this is not math, not science, it's just design. Oh, finally. Okay, I'm gonna use this one here. Well, I have 10 until now. You can put as many as you want. And then you're gonna remove the magic table that is look like a bucket. I forgot that I have to get ready little pieces of clear tape. I don't know how many I may need. So get at least four of them to make you easier the work. And you are gonna take all the stickies and I'm gonna put over here. Okay, and grab three. I have four. I will use my first tape. They are going to be moving, so be patient and try to. Uh, I'm going to be using my second piece of tape. And you have now four pieces of. Medolino M place. On place. No, M place. This mix of English and Spanish doesn't work. Okay, three more pieces of bamboo. I still need more um, tape. I use all of the pieces that I cut before. To um, try if you want try to keep the same um, size of the the shape that we are getting here with the medolino Okay, 
one more piece and we have something that it may look like a cage if you see that it's too clear too transparent we can use more so i'm gonna bring more and i'm gonna start working in the same way or similar way because what i can do now is east instead be putting in the same um place the middle you know i can make her a uh, different so i can make another a smaller you see i'm gonna keep doing this so in between the other bamboo the other bamboo i'm gonna stick i'm gonna put insert sorry i'm gonna insert these new pieces the best that i can because you will find the flowers in the way uh, i don't want to get in conflict i don't want to damage any flower so maybe i have to do it this four pieces first so the second set is gonna be a smaller let's see if not gonna be more complicated just because i'm making a smaller and the bamboo has his uh, own personality so probably i have to move back to the original plan but this is just investigation i don't see a huge oh, broke there no 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 okay leaving that way and i'll be back that happens because some of the bamboos are um getting dry Three more. I finish finish with the middle end. Um when I take the camera and show you how it look until now. Okay, this is how it looks the design now. Can you see the bamboo? I put the first row, I put it outside and the other one the second i put a little bit inside so it have more movement can you see well i still have this mess here that i i don't like at all uh we have to make a decision about what i'm gonna do with all this uh sticky coming out we can leave it we can cut it we can uh, uh hide it and we can use it usually i use this kind of technique uh resolution i try to incorporate in the design by um make it bolder so uh let me see what can i do with this and then well this is the part that i want to resolve uh we can use any of these or we can use both i'm gonna start with the green and i guess that i'm gonna leave it in that way just i will wrap the bamboos and they came with this wire it's not in a straight uh wire but it doesn't matter actually it can 
be part of the design, the file that is not totally straight. Uh, I will use in this as well. I'm probably, probably no, I'm totally sure that I, I'm gonna live in the way that I is right now. So with all these curlies in it. So what I try to do is to play with the others, middleinos in the same color. Well, it could be good. If, if you don't like it, don't do it. At least try to resolve this part. For sure, for me, I have this has to be cut because it's too too high, too tall. And the skinny cane, I'm gonna cut it as well. So the base that I used for this design when I made it, and I made it for a wedding, was an upside down clear cylinder base. I put it this way on the table and in some of them I uh, put some orchids stick and the cylinder base and another I didn't put anything it just was with another uh, floor arrangement lower floor arrangement by using the same flower but this is the idea um, it looked like a cage but the results are totally totally different because this is obviously this is more contemporary design if you have to compare with the cage if you want that is going to be a good idea we can put a butterfly over here or in any other place i'm still going to keep being uh, nice and romantic i will try to take a picture to put it on the end so maybe you can see well i said butterfly and um, sorry i couldn't control myself uh, for me, the butterfly has some special, um, I don't know, a special relation. I love the butterfly, so I decided to put it in the second design. Those are uh, like a purple, dark purple butterfly. Um, I'm going to put it in the vase as well. So, this is what I did. This is a regular cage. It is really, really pretty and romantic. I didn't put any butterfly because on the top it has a bear. So let the bear there. And it, this is uh, has a an style. And this one is totally, totally uh, different. Even when we can think that both may be a cage. You can use with the cylinder base or without the cylinder, cylinder base with the butterfly or without the butterfly. In my case, I really, really love using butterflies. So as many times that I, I am allowed to use, I do it. Okay, I hope this can inspire you to use different elements. I would try to keep doing this as many times that as I could, but I'm sometimes really, really busy. Uh, okay, I could love to have any comment about these ideas or oh, any question that you have just let me know i'm gonna be happy and answer you back i'm happy in many ways that i can do it thank you so much thanks for being here with me and watch my channel thank you